Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Monday, September 16th, 2024. Well, we have a nice onshore flow this morning with winds coming in from the northeast and north-northeast around 5 miles per hour. High pressures to our north, low pressures to our south, and as a result, air always moves from a higher pressure to a lower pressure, basically to fill that vacuum. So as a result, you end up with these northeasterly winds, and they're producing scattered cloud cover, a few low clouds here and there, some areas of fog, especially over some of your valleys, reducing visibility below a mile in a few isolated locations. Temperatures range from the mid-50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s in your suburbs, lower to mid-60s along the immediate coast and in your urban areas. It's quiet right now. Dry. Overall pretty pleasant. As you can see on our latest surface map and radar, high pressure is in control to our north, but trouble is brewing to the south with an area low pressure that may pick up some tropical characteristics. We'll talk about that in a second. In the meantime, we're in between these two systems with an easterly wind that's going to drive moisture into the northern Atlantic, leading to an increase in cloud cover throughout the day. So let's break down some of the details with our satellites. So first of all, this is the zoomed in satellite of PTC number eight, potential tropical cyclone. Now, just a little bit of a history. The reason why we have PTCs now is actually a byproduct of what happened with Sandy. Is a low pressure system tropical or not? Is it close or not? So rather than leaving people kind of unprepared if there is a tropical low pressure system that rapidly develops or is taking on tropical characteristics, this is a way for people to be on notice of it, but at the same time acknowledging it's not fully tropical. So right now we have a low level circulation right here, right? And it does have a few signs of tropical characteristics, but there's still a bit of a thermal gradient, 850 millibars, meaning that a lot of this thunderstorm development here is driven by what we call baroclinic. When we have a true warm core low pressure system, that is when it's driven by the release of latent heat with rapidly rising air. And part of that is that you have a closed, well-defined low level circulation. As you can see here, when you typically see that what you'll get is a lot of cumulus kind of wrapping around a low level center even if the thunderstorms are separated away you kind of get this very clear definition of a low level circulation that could pick up thunderstorm development right now we don't have anything like that we have an elongated low pressure system that is close but not close enough it has very strong winds on the north side here where all this thunderstorm development is located at 45, 50 mile per hour winds. So if it did pick up that circulation over the next four to six hours, then yeah, it could become a subtropical or tropical low pressure system in which then it would be named and it moves into the Carolina coast and producing all sorts of heavy rainfall around North Carolina. Now, regardless if it actually picks up that characterization or not, it's still going to produce a whole lot of rain around North Carolina. Now, why does this matter for us? Because we are in the northern Atlantic. Well, this low pressure system and the moisture is going to be backing in under what we call an upper level low. So let's step back here. So you have an upper level low here. And this whole setup is developing on the east side of it, which is typical when you have a lot of divergence and difluence aloft, a lot of rising air. We also have this little feature out here. That's another low pressure system. This right now is featuring a lot of cold core characteristics, not really picking up anything warm core at all, but it's also going to get trapped under this upper level low. And so this upper level low is going to pull all this moisture into the coastal plain. And as it does so, it's going to spawn these low pressure systems and set up this onshore flow. And that's going to make for a bit of a wet period of weather after several dry days, very beautiful days for the northern Atlantic. So this whole setup is also creating a lot of issues with model guidance because it's having a difficult time handling all these low pressure systems and their different structures. So what you kind of have to do then is take a look at the overall environment, the observations, look at the model guidance and then make some adjustments. So that's what we're gonna walk through as well. Back to our home on the visible satellite picture, 
Notice the high clouds are increasing from the southwest. The low clouds are increasing from the east. That's going to lead to increasing clouds throughout the day today and eventually cloudy conditions by tonight and by tomorrow morning before we start to get showers. So the forecast is such. For today, increasing cloud cover. Watch out for an easterly wind, and we are moving towards an astronomical high tide. So the persistent easterly wind has the potential here of producing some localized, ur uh, not urban flooding, but a coastal flooding. So while I don't expect it to be a major flooding event or destructive flooding event for most of the coastal plain, if you're right on the coast and you know who you are, well, I would be prepared for some minor coastal flooding around the region with this easterly wind so for today temperatures will rise into the mid to upper 70s with this east northeasterly wind taking hold for tonight into tomorrow morning cloudy skies are expected with low temperatures in the mid to upper 50s over the interior lower to mid 60s along the coast tomorrow afternoon scattered showers begin to develop not a washout but a few of these showers would be capable of a brief heavy downpour from time to time look for high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s throughout the region on wednesday that low pressure system tries to hold on here it's very poorly defined i think a lot of this is a bit overdone some of the new model guidance coming out what we call 06 z is far less impressive so we're going to go with on wednesday scattered showers why rather than widespread heavy rainfall look for low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior mid to upper 60s along the coast high temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 60s over the northern interior lower to mid 70s along the coast on thursday Low pressure system continues to meander over the coastal plain. Again, this looks like a little bit of a convective feedback error. So we're going to go with scattered showers around the region. There will be some tropical characteristics to this heavy rainfall uh, with the enhanced precipitable water value. So a few of these showers will be capable of some heavier downpours. And I think that's what's causing some of this error is that you get a heavy downpour here and the QPF kind of bleeds out here. So again, not a washout, but certainly unsettled, cloudy, scattered showers, areas of drizzle. Look for low temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s over the interior, mid to upper 60s along the coast. High temperatures ranging from the mid 70s throughout the region. On Friday, the onshore flow continues. The threat for scattered showers continues. Look for low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the northern interior mid 60s along the coast high temperatures will range from the mid 70s for highs on saturday rinse and repeat again overcast cloud covers got showers some drizzle look for low temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 50s over the northern interior lower to mid 60s along the coast high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s on Sunday, high pressure builds south. Look for scattered to broken cloud cover, drier conditions. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s in the suburbs, lower to mid 60s on the immediate coast. And in your urban areas, high temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the northern interior and lower to mid 70s along the coast. And on Monday, that onshore flow continues with scattered broken cloud cover. Could be a few isolated showers down towards, let's say, Cape May and Wildwood, Atlantic City. But for the most part, we're looking at dry conditions with high pressure to the north continuing to support that cool maritime air with high, low temperatures ranging from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast. High temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the interior and along the coast, lower to mid 70s in the Delaware River Valley. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day and as always, stay safe out there.